Pelota Países están aquí. We got Mexico with their taco, Conquistador Spain with their eye patch, and perhaps the most anticipated of all, Chili Worm. We have Long Chili. But be aware, at some point, these will be slithering away. As always, I can only sell these for a limited time. We have such a crazy collection at this point, like, it's kind of hard to believe. I feel bad if, like, people really only found my channel recently and they didn't have a chance for those. So head over to Makeship.com, that top link in the description down below, to get yours today. There's just so many we've already sold out at this point, it's crazy. Hey, Mexico! Mexico, says the U.S. Many of your people are coming to America. Teach me some Spanish so I can make them work. Good choice, gringo. Mexican Spanish is the best Espanol of them all, way. In comes Argentina, which speaks like Italian Spanish. What? No, most people speak with a Mexican accent. Yeah, because they speak wrong, says Argentina. Meanwhile, America's just like, man, frick this. No, mommy. <laughs> the problem is that I do these videos with, like, my white voice, so I can't throw the accent. It's really really hard. Mexican Spanish is neutral Spanish. Uh, no, that would be Peruvian. Peru Spanish is the best. I actually do think their Spanish is pretty easy to understand. <laughs> no, Chilean is one of the best. Shut up, Chile. No one even knows what you say half the time. Colombian is best Spanish. No, Venezuelan. It's Cuban, Chico. Meanwhile, Mexico's not very amused. Buenos dias. In comes Spain. How are you guys doing? Meanwhile, all these balls proceed to use their favorite swear words that are unique to their own country. Uh, <laughs> What? Wait, I created the Spanish language. Frick you, Spain. Catalonian is better. Oh, that old right side growth has showed up again. So hilarious to me that one of Spain's biggest exports to the world was their language, yet a lot of people living in Spain don't even want to use that language. I mean, you got Galician and Basque and the all-famous Catalan, and there's the fact that so much of Latin America doesn't really speak the way Spanish is spoken in Spain. It just dropped an entire conjugation. Now nah, we're not gonna use that one. Flash Back to 1494. We draw a line. Portugal has east. Spain has west. So I get all of America, replies Spain. Yes, but not this land. Oh, okay, it's just a corner. How bad could it be? Cut to 500 years later, and we have a massive Brazil ball. Meanwhile, all these Spanish balls just crammed in the corners. I always thought it was funny how big the Portuguese colony of Brazil ended up actually getting. Because, yeah, initially it really was supposed to be just this corner, yet somehow that ended up turning into really thick Brazil. <laughs> they just didn't follow the rules or something. My dream is big Italy, live long the king. I dream of big Sweden, oh, give me big. Greater USSR is returning, Russia rule Eurasia. My dream is, uh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Meanwhile, what are you doing? Chile responding with, uh, just thinking about the social and censorship issues of modern Germany. But we live in South America, responds Peru. Meanwhile, Chile with their I Heart Prussia poster in the background. It's such a habit to call Chile Chile. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep doing that. Yeah, for some reason, Chile has always had a weird obsession with Prussia. Or sometimes just with, like, things from Germany in general. Nobody asked the Chilean military exactly uh, where they got the design of those helmets from. Might be a little awkward. Pre-kindergarten. Oh, look, it's the Holy Roman Empire playing in the sandbox. Huh? Asks a very confused France. Oh, this is their first interaction. Elementary school. It's the Holy Roman Empire, except now they have some cool Prussian clothes. Oh, but France just threw a rock at them. Oh no, now they're coming to cry to their boyfriend. It's like a way more cool, swagged out Britain. Yeah, this could be bad. Middle school. France now looking at the same ball. Now, again, she has new clothes. It's Imperial Germany. Oh, France has a crush on her. Here he goes, admitting the truth. Oh, I guess, uh, I, I guess not. Oh no, France is gonna be an incel now. <laughs> High school. Now it's a modern day Germany, and they're still with their dumb boyfriend, but France just doesn't get it. Is that true love? Here comes Britain to explain the situation. Germany plus Britain does not equal love because Germany equals no-no Germany. This is when she became a very, uh, bad- I don't even want to finish that. Is this a flashback? Oh, uh, this is when Germany actually wanted France, but they wanted France for some- uh, strange stuff. Now that's love. Oh, that's how she wanted it. Now France is kind of angry. After high school, it's now Germany coming back to admit their love for France. Oh, actually this might work. Oh, they're getting married now. And here's their little EU baby. Aw, the whole family growing up together. Finally France got the girl he's always wanted. They just had to get through this really horrible era from uh, Germany's past. They don't want to talk about it. How the tables have turned. So Britain ends up seeing the EU child and just 
just gets so disgusted he like runs away. Basically Brexit. I'm talking about Brexit. What's not mentioned in this comic at all is that it was more kind of a love triangle. Yeah, Britain loved Germany, but you know who else Britain loved? They loved France too. I mean, not in the beginning, not in elementary school, but in high school, they did kind of fall in love. Maybe France is actually staring at Britain here. Ah, <laughs> uh, there it is. Just the girl next door. The frick you doing over there? Says the USA to a China that's tinkering. Oh, I'm just inventing a super military laser. Superior to USA laser, much high energy for a very good oofing of enemy. Is that so? Behold! <laughs> Nice try, pal. These lenses are made from cosmic lunar god gems. I had my space force get them for me. <laughs> Success! Oh, that's what China was doing the whole time. They were just trying to get rid of the Philippines. This comic was referencing this, like, laser battle the Chinese and Filipino Navy got into not that long ago. Actually, I feel like it was a couple years ago. Okay, never mind. This is like six months ago. Honestly, I'm still confused about that situation where they just... I don't know. Did they think that was what was gonna happen? It was just gonna, like, zap a hole through somebody's head? You know, it was just like a laser pointer. Well, as long as you think it's a super laser, that's what's most important. Hi! I would like to buy your cat. Capital, says North Korea. Uh, why? Responds Greenland. I like the name, they say. Meanwhile, Greenland, capital, uh, nuke. Frick you, man. Ah, uh, North Korea was just trying to get a hold of some more nukes. <laughs> don't they already have enough? Honestly, one is already scary enough. Please, Greenland, don't give them your capital of nuke. Scares me every time. That one came from my very own subreddit, too. Pokemon, I mean, uh, peace. Mon? What? Oh, we here we have a Ash Ketchum American guy. Oh no, another trainer. It's Libya. Throws out the Pokeballs. USA sending out France as their first Pokemon. Defeated, they scream. France, France. France use baguette. It's super effective. Ah, uh, feel the pain. Get it? Because pain means uh, bread in French. It's not pronounced that though. Libya. Oh, Libya's not a trainer. Libya's a Pokemon. That's why they're saying their name. Good job, says America. Who's next? Oh, after Libya was oofed, they also changed flags. This is a reference how the USA sometimes sends out France, their Pokemon, to uh, do the battling that they would do in Africa. Specifically in this example, it was Libya. But there are a couple others that we could talk about. Beloved Nord Stream Pipeline broken! Oh look, the old sign of the friendship. That friendship's not there anymore. We're putting you on the job, Commissioner Sweden, says the EU. Duty is pleasure, responds uh, Sherlock Swedish Schlock. Sherlock Sweden. Hmm, someone boat is here, maybe drifted. Oh, that's a Ukrainian boat. Of flag of coincidence? Hmm, I think yeah, just a coincidence. Any of you see who blew up the pipe? Was Ukraine? Yeah, definitely Ukraine. Hmm, I'm terribly sorry to ask, but evidence shows you blew up the pipe. Yes, me blowed it up. We're so sad that the investigation is dead and no motive of crime can be established. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ukraine with their little sign. Gotta pay Sweden for that beautiful detective work. I wonder who it could be. Will this mystery ever be solved? I don't think so. This case is just too tough to crack. I'll oof you. No, you won't. No, you won't. I'm gonna do it and make you watch. Ha, <laughs> coward. Yo, bro, I don't really know what's going on with African politics, but what's happening there? I mean, unless there's oil involved, of course. Sure, it's simple. That's Niger and Nigeria. The Nigerians were calling by the Brits, and the others were colonized by the French. Now the Brits left the Nigerians alone, largely after their independence, while the French dotted on the Nigerians. Nigerians? Nigerians? How do you... I don't know. Now that France has made their presence less known, the Nigerians have fallen victim to a coup. The Nigerians are part of an African EU knockoff and oppose this coup. So if the Nigerians don't step down, the Nigerians will help the Nigerians. I hope this helps. Nah, nah, this is exactly why I don't mess with African politics. Forget that I asked. Even I'm confused about that whole thing. It does tend to be this complicated. There is a pretty big difference. North colonized by France, South colonized by the Brits. It automatically kind of just brings over the rivalry. And that's only one part. There's still so much to talk about in this continent. In Korea, everything's tiny. Tiny people. Tiny dogs. Tiny, no. Tiny cameras. Tiny birth rates. Tiny free time. Tiny will to live. Okay, is that really how we're gonna... <laughs> You know, I know there's such a huge rivalry between South Korea and Japan, but man, they have so many similarities. Maybe that's why there's really a rivalry there. They're kind of like brothers. They'll never admit that, though. Okay, yeah, well, now I'm kind of depressed for Tiny Korea. Maybe if they join in with the North, they can be slightly less Tiny Korea, though? Oh, bollock, I sure do love me some stripped down and... Ch uh, what? Sure is quite the crowd in this fine establishment, I must say. Oh, I say, this establishment was of different quality when I initially had interpreted. Oh, dear God. Could you... <laughs>
<laughs> Meanwhile, random Welsh noises. Oh, good sir, I don't understand your barbarian language. Just give me two bottles of your strongest alcohol. Oh, jolly, the pain makes me forget. <laughs> Oh, I just, I am in shock. I too would like to do this with two bottles. I expected the Welsh balls there, I guess, but, um, Sweden and is that, uh, oh, that's definitely New Zealand. I've heard that from them too. Welp, that, uh, yeah. This video game is getting boring. Maybe I should try some mods. Oh, hey, I think I know this game. The red sun never sets on the British Empire. Hmm, this mod sounds interesting. Steam Workshop as always coming in clutch. Uh, what's happening? Oh, of many Halloween says South Korea to their neighbor. Well, at least they aren't Ireland. Meanwhile, the Americans time to oof the Brits. This is quite the very strange Hoi 4 mod. Then again, what Hoi 4 mod isn't super strange? You know what's funny? I don't even need to know exactly what they're referencing here. I already know what happened. Just because there's so many mods that are like this. It says it right there. The red sun never sets on the British Empire. This changed the British Isles and put them in Asia in, in place of the Japanese islands. That's just another normal day, to be honest. I am not the least bit surprised. Why don't we do this more? Much in common we have. Do you do want me to tell you my resolution for next year? I think they've drank a little bit too much. Resolution of new year is to make rebuilds USSR. I will begin with Ukraine. <laughs> Such silly Russia make joke. If Russia invade Ukraine, then I will invade Taiwan. Finally, someone understands me. Exactly why we're friends. Russia's so funny. Thanks for the laugh. Later. Ring, 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 ring. Phone? Not expect of to phone. Who is this? Uh, it's, it's Russia. You'll never guess what I just did. What is it you do? I invaded Ukraine, remember? It was my New Year's resolution. You're serious? After talking to you at the bar, I'm thinking, here's a clay who knows what to not be scared of, Russia. So I decided to take what belongs to me. I've called to make sure you've now invaded Taiwan. America's kinda mad. I need a distraction. Also, give please munitions of war efforts. Ukraine is more prepared than I think. Uh, Hello? Are you still there? I think China ran away. Uh, the drunken ramblings ended up becoming a reality. Fortunately, I don't think they fully thought this through. I mean, that actually explains a lot. See, this kind of explains everything. At least they uh, did their New Year's resolution pretty soon after the New Year, kind of. Hola, Germany! Are you enjoying your stay in Chile? Chile. <sighs> Nine. Huh? Why not? D did I do something, Maul? I don't know. It's just... Uh, Chile. Oh, wait. I, I know how to fix this. It'll remind you of your casa back at home. Wait, uh, how? Stretch. Elongate. Whoosh. Vroom. Ta-da! I'm a pretzel. Very German, see? Oh, I think Germany likes this. Oh, well, actually, maybe they like it a little bit too much. What else did you really expect there, Chile? Nice idea, though. What a way to make Germany feel at home. Once again, Germany. Germany and Chile being the best of friends. Again, don't forget to check out that link in the description down below to makeship.com to get these before they're gone forever. Big thanks to my patrons. Destiny. <laughs> 9,000. Drew needs to pay his taxes. Why am I doing Karina this? Best John, girl. Denver, I'm the kidnapper. Jack, Jack Traven's the annoying friend. Friend. Friends. The Inquisitor, Zarius. Good old Caleb. Hence by a book. I am not a paid actor. Luxembourg. Patrick Dye. Subscribe to Drew. Ralph 7767. Become a patron by checking the description down below. 